we are going to explore simultaneous equations by looking at these two equations here. 3x subtract 5y is equal to 1 and 2x add 7y is equal to 11. I'm going to put them on a graph. I'm using GeoGebra which is a free piece of software and is available online. I'll take a look at GeoGebra in another video. So if you type in geogebra.org forward slash classic, you should see a screen like this. I'm just going to center the axes by clicking and dragging using the mouse. At the top of the column on the left hand side of the screen, I am going to input the first equation 3x subtract 5y is equal to 1, and then press the return key. The line is now displayed. It is a straight line. Now let's enter the second equation. 2x add 7y is equal to 11. And press the return key. Again we have a straight line. We'll look at graphs in more detail another time. Notice that the lines intersect. If I select this button at the top left hand of the screen and choose point, I can find the point where these two equations intersect. Hover the mouse over the intersection and click. We have the point A. Over on the left hand side, point A is shown as the intersection between these two lines and is the point 2, 1. That is, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. If I was to plug these two values into either of the equations, they satisfy those two equations. So for the first equation, that's 3 multiplied by 2, subtract 5 multiplied by 1, and that's 6 subtract 5, which is equal to 1. If I was using the second equation, that's 2 multiplied by 2, add 7 multiplied by 1, so that's 4, add 7, which is equal to 11. By finding the intersection, we have found the solution to this pair of equations. But let's look at finding the solution to these equations, but this time using a non-graphical method. In maths, you will be expected to solve simultaneous equations. And what that means is a set of equations for which there is a solution that satisfies those equations. So here are our two simultaneous equations and we are going to use an algebraic approach to finding the solution. We'll begin by labeling the equations one and two. The first stage in this solution is to either eliminate x to find y or eliminate y to find x. In order to do this, we need to match one of the variables and then add the equations or subtract one equation from the other to eliminate the variable we matched. I'll show you what I mean. We are firstly going to solve these simultaneous equations by eliminating x to find y. Later on we'll eliminate y to find x, just to show you that it doesn't make any difference. So eliminating the x's. I have 3x here in equation 1 and 2x here in equation 2. I need to have the same amount of x's in both equations so that I can subtract one from the other. Here's what I'm thinking. If I multiply 3x by 2 I get 6x and if I multiply 2x by 3 I get 6x. And if I subtract one 6x from the other 6x, I get no 6x's. So that's the strategy. Watch carefully what I do. I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 2 to get my 6x. So that 6x subtract 10y is equal to 2. I'm now going to multiply equation 2 by 3 to get my 6x. So that's 6x at 21y is equal to 33. We'll label these equations 3 and 4. It's important to understand that these 
new equations are the same as the original equations, and we'll look at these on a graph later to show this. Now let's do the subtraction. I'm going to subtract equation 3 from equation 4. I could have subtracted equation 4 from equation 3. It doesn't matter. The key thing is we're going to do a subtraction to get rid of the x's. 6x subtract 6x is equal to naught x. Remember the point is to get rid of the x's. 21y subtract minus 10y is equal to 21y add 10y. A minus and a minus is a plus. And that's equal to 31y. And then we have 33 subtract 2, which is equal to 31. So we have 31y is equal to 31. So y must equal 1. We now do a substitution. We are going to substitute y is equal to 1 into one of the original equations to find x. Let's use equation 1 for no particular reason. 3x subtract 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1. So 3x subtract 5 is equal to 1. 3x is equal to 6, which means that x is equal to 2. But here's how it would have looked had we used equation 2. So the solution to these simultaneous equations is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1, which is what we had with the graph, the intersect 2, 1. And if we graph equations 3 and 4, it is exactly the same as graphing equations 1 and 2. So by multiplying through, or dividing through, an equation by the same amount, we haven't affected that equation. Going back to the original equations again, I could have eliminated the y's to find x. Here's what I'm thinking. I have minus 5y in equation 1 and 7y in equation 2. I need to have the same amount of y's. If I multiply minus 5y by 7, I get minus 35y. And if I multiply 7y by 5, I get 35y. So I have minus 35y and 35y. And if I add these together, I get naught. So that's the strategy. So for equation 1, let's multiply through by 7. So that's 21x subtract 35y is equal to 7. And for equation 2, let's multiply this through by 5. So that's 10x add 35y is equal to 55. And we'll label these equations 3 and 4 respectively. We are now going to add equations 3 and 4 together to eliminate y. 21x add 10x is equal to 31x. Minus 35y add 35y is, of course, naught. 7 add 55 is equal to 62. So we are left with 31x is equal to 62. So x must equal 2. 2 lots of 31 is equal to 62. We can substitute x is equal to 2 into either of the original equations to find y, which of course is equal to 1. Again, if we drew these two equations on a graph, they would look exactly the same as the other graphs. Remember that the solution to simultaneous equations is finding the values of the variables that satisfy those equations. So in this example, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 is the solution that satisfies these two equations. So that's a brief look at solving simultaneous equations. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.